able to show this guy our macros. See how he likes it. Show this guy the macros. Perfect electrics. Oh. Oh. He likes these electrics. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> All right, guys, as you saw in that clip, I was using the perfect electric macro, which I'll be showing you how to make. I mean, it doesn't mean you'll be better online. I mean, it's a huge advantage, but uh, I got smacked up anyways. <laughs> so let me show you guys how to do that. All right, so let's open up Chrome. I have the link up here. Uh, so this will be in the description. So if you want to make simple macros for basic inputs, um, I'll be showing you in this case, the electric, um, and you'll learn how to do the other inputs yourself. So you're going to want to download Joy to Key, and link will be in the description here. You're just going to go to this page, scroll down to download Joy to Key Installer, and then you go ahead and open that up. You're going to go ahead and hit yes on the Windows uh, notification, then accept the agreement here, hit next, desktop shortcut if you want it, hit next, install. And uh, I have it open right now because I'm doing a reinstall of it. Let me just close it. And then there we go. And there we go. It's installed. And here we go. We'll go ahead and launch that. All right. And you should be greeted with this page. So what this is, uh, you're going to want to have your whatever controller you use. I'm using a PlayStation 4 controller. Once it's hooked up, um, Joy to Key will read it, and then um, you'll be able to map these buttons. So for Tekken in this case, Tekken, if you have your controller plugged in, uh, it's going to read the inputs natively. It'll actually read the inputs of the controller you're using. But the cool thing about it is for player one, it'll also read the uh, keyboard bindings that you might have. So if you map the keyboard bindings, uh, your macros will go through like that. So let me just kind of show you what I mean by that. So let's go ahead and boot up Tekken. All right. So once you open up the game, you're going to want to go to options. You're going to go to button mapping. And here is where you want to set the keyboard controller settings. So you're going to want to set them exactly how I have shown here. So we have up is W, down is S, left is A, right is D, and then the most important, the only things you need to map here are going to be the A, B, X, Y. So you're going to want A to J, B to K, X to U, and Y to I. So feel free to pause the video and take a look at that. Um, but once that is mapped, uh, we're going to go into training mode so we can kind of show you what uh, can kind of show you exactly what we're going to be mapping here. Okay, so if you know, if you're here, if you clicked on this video, if you don't know, because you might want to be doing macros for a different game, a different fighting game or something, Kazuya's uh, electric motion input. Is, uh, is like a it's like a perfect frame input or just frame input basically the input is forward then down then down forward and as soon as you hit down forward you also had to hit the two which is uh, B, uh, Y in this case um, and it'll give you this so I can I can do it but not all the time so let me show you that input 
Okay, so that is the input right there. So it's literally forward, down, and as soon as down forward is hit, you also had to hit the two, which is triangle on mine. And what we want to do is we want to map it so that it'll work. Uh, we can hit like a key we're not using. So we can use the touchpad. I map it to the touchpad. Or you could do R1, you could do L1. So let's go ahead and do that. So first what you need to do is you need to map uh, the, the buttons that you, you're going to be using for the macro at least. So we'll go ahead and just use the ones we need. So we want to map all the, uh, all the directional buttons. So first, um, anytime you press on a button, it, it should light up in, uh, enjoy the key. So down for, for joy to key shows, and then you'll open up, you'll double click on the actual, uh, highlighted one. So once you press it, it'll highlight it. So I'm pressing down, you'll double click it and then you'll assign it. So remember the inputs we set up. So we want S to be down and then up will be W left will be a and then right will be D okay now we literally just need to map the two because that's all we'll be doing for the macro so I'll show you just that so you're gonna hit triangle for me right so that's button four so we'll go ahead and open button four and then that is I on the inputs that I showed you earlier so now the game recognizes that if I hit these these certain inputs uh, it's actually also sending the keyboard inputs to the game so you'll see what I mean so we'll go ahead and map electric for the one player side on R1 so I'll hit R1 that's button 6 you're gonna double click that and then you're gonna go to keyboard multi on the tabs at the top here so we're going to hit these uh, little radio buttons. You're going to want to click the second to last, or sorry, which one? Okay, this one. Execute from input one to input four. So what this does is it's actually going to take the first input, go to the second input, go to the third input, go to the fourth input, and execute whatever you put in there. So for this case, if we want to do the electric, we're going to do D as the first input, then the second input will be down then the last input three is going to be down and then you're going to assign the second row uh that's and then forward and then i so what that is basically telling the game is we're gonna we're telling the game to execute forward then down then these all together it'll be down down uh it'll be down right and i which which is two right so it'll be down it's this is actually just down forward plus two um so it'll hit it perfectly so let's go ahead and test that out okay so now when i hit r1 it executes the macro we set so now we have perfect electrics and if you want to do that for the player two side which we'll go ahead and map that to l1 Let's go ahead and see which button L1 is. Um, I think my thing is messed up actually. Uh, let's do R2. <laughs> so R2, we'll do button eight. Okay, so now we wanna do it for the other side, which forward is gonna be A, then it's gonna be down is S, then, oh wait, we gotta click that execute thing. All right, just make sure you click that execute from input one to input four. And then input three is gonna be down and then left and then I. Okay, so now my R1, which is a right bumper if you're an Xbox guy, my R1 is gonna do electrics for the player one side and my, and my R2 button, which is the right trigger for Xbox guys is going to be the player two side and there you go uh, it's that easy so luckily um that's how it works for any sort of controller 
you have the joy to key should be able to read it um i i may show you how to do this on a keyboard um if necessary um just let me know if anyone's looking to learn how to do this on a keyboard so i can find out for you and make a video for that but that's pretty much it so you can go ahead and do this um obviously this will work for basic inputs for inputs so for street fighter you can do uh, SPD throws, uh, you can do fireballs, um, you can't really do like ultras because of this, because it's so basic. Uh, I'll come out with a uh, advanced tutorial in the future uh, so people can see how to do more advanced things. Uh, but for electrics, this works great. So thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want more videos like this. I am planning to make more videos like this. So thank you very much and take it easy.